Hi and welcome to Creator's Web Design video blog. In February's issue of Web Designer Magazine in the UK, they showcased Jim Carrey's new Flash website, which although is bizarre, is very intricate, well thought out and a perfect representation of Jim Carrey's humour. Well worth exploring if you have a few spare minutes, in particular they've integrated Jim's Twitter updates in a really cool way. Simply go to jimcarrey.com. This week's web design tutorial is part two of how to create a basic fading image slideshow in Flash. In the final stage, we add the back and next buttons. So I'm starting with last week's supporting files, which I've got here on my desktop, and I've also sourced a Arrow PNG, which we're going to use to lay on top of our uh, Flash animation for the back and next buttons. So if I open up last week's Flash, all I need to start by doing is importing the Arrow to the library. Which should then appear over here on the right. I'm going to create a new layer to do my arrows on, so I'm going to drag this across. And what I'm going to do is just copy and paste the arrow and reflect it to become my back button. So modify, transform, flip horizontal. What we're then going to do is convert each of our buttons into uh, buttons by going to modify, convert to symbol, choosing button. So we'll call this one right. We'll click on the left one and do the same thing with that one. Modify, convert to symbol, make sure type is set to button. We'll call this one left. So what we're then going to do is uh, put the behavior on each of the buttons so that it skips us along the timeline to the next photograph. So if I have a quick look on the timeline, I can see that the next photograph comes in at 80. So to my first set of buttons, I'm going to apply the action. So on, press, Click inside the uh, brackets, and then go to timeline control, go to and play. So I know that my first, sorry, my second photograph appears at 80, like so. So if I copy that and then click onto my left button, I'll paste a similar code in on that one. So first of all, this the first back button here needs to skip to the last photo, which is 160. So I'll change this one to 160. Obviously these numbers will vary depending on how long your photographs are on the timeline for. What we can then do is jump to the next stage at 80, insert the keyframe onto the timeline. Then we need to change the, uh, the places that these skip to. So the next one needs to jump to 160 on the right hand side button, which will change like that. Then the left button needs to go back to the start, go back to the original one, so we'll put that in as 1. And then finally, for the last video, we'll put an extra keyframe in at 160. So this time, the right hand button needs to skip back to the start, which would be go to and play one. And then the one on the left is going to drop back to photograph two, which is at 80. And it's uh, pretty much as simple as that. So if we go to, uh, let's test that now, test movie. As you can see, the pictures will rotate automatically as normal, but if we want to skip around the photographs, we can do. So that's how to do a very basic uh, slideshow tutorial with uh, back and next buttons. Um, you can obviously take this stage further and add uh, different rollovers to your buttons, um, you know, and, and play around with making them skip so that you also see the fading transition as well, if you wish. So uh, that's, the, that's how you add back and next buttons to your basic flash slideshow. Our fifth website tip for business owners is to ensure that your telephone number or numbers are clearly displayed on your website. Customers who are seeking products or services online are subconsciously expecting websites to satisfy their personal requirements. This can include price, quality, locality and particularly the e-commerce shops, trust. Effectively displaying your telephone number clearly and prominently reassures visitors of your location within the UK and also acts as a call to action, encouraging potential customers to pick up the phone. If your business has several offices, depots or franchises, then it can be effective to clearly display all of these numbers either as part of the design or at a minimum on the contact page. We have prepared several examples of websites that use numbers effectively on our supporting blog post at createdesign.co.uk forward slash blog forward slash videos. Thank you for watching this week. If you have any questions, comments or contributions, please leave them on our YouTube channel or on our supporting blog post.